Hey, 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 what's up YouTube and welcome back to 60 Seconds Reatomized. Now I am redoing the intro for this video because as you can see in my previous intro when I started the game, basically my voice was muted. I forgot to unmute myself. Halfway through the game, I realized that this happened. So I did record my voice at some point, but let me just fill you in with what happened within the first few days and the challenge that I decided to do this round. So in this video, I decided to do the survival challenge where I picked the first one. I think it's Scout's Honor, where you have to keep Timmy alive. And that is exactly what I plan to do. So starting off on day one, as you can see, we were stocked with a map, a suitcase, an ax, a flashlight, food, water, a gas mask, bug spray, and bullets. So this is quite all we need. On day one, nothing much happened as per usual. It's still the start. On day two, I did scroll through the book and I read the objectives, which was to save Timmy and also be rescued by the military. Let's see if that happens. And on day three, I decided to send poor little Ted out to go and scavenge us some food, some stuff, but m most importantly, we needed a radio in order to escape. So nothing much else happened between day four until day nine when Ted came back, but he came back sick. Also, he brought a freaking radio. I think we're saved, guys. I think this is just the game. We're done. And from day 9 until day 30, nothing much has really happened. I just fed everyone, all was happy and so on. I didn't lose anyone, I, I don't think I sent anyone out. But then this happened. And then on day 14, I looked at my recording and I realized, oh my gosh, my freaking voice was not being recorded. Can you believe it? Bruh. I was so upset and i thought to myself what am i going to do and i thought of an idea i do apologize guys because i only now figured out that my mic was not working but you haven't missed anything we're trying to keep timmy alive and we're running short on food and stuff oh my god can't believe my audio didn't record anyway when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear them back. Something will have to go, be wrong on their side. I've read that so many times. Uh, tired and no, so he's fine. Apart from being sick. Uh, fine and everyone's fine. Yes, let's go. A group of people dressed in green pajamas. Knock on our hatch is hitch. Knocked. Knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated, yet this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor. They said, last time I accepted this, they took everything and saw us as the rich. So now, but maybe it depends if you have a lot of stuff. <coughs> Does that mean he's dead? Nope. Cool. We didn't answer those particular calls and kept the door locked until we heard the noise faded. Okay. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Ted, uh, okay, so recovered, hasn't recovered, and he's hungry. Dolores can't sleep. Hungry. Uh, and he's thirsty. Boom, 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 boom. Let's actually try and revive him. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few way, a few feet away. I'm not gonna do anything because we'll just scare it away and just blast whatever. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing happened, see? We felt it's too risky. The creature was gone the next morning. Tired, isn't hungry anymore. Uh, so we'll get, give him water. She would really have something to eat. Water. So he's hungry. Hungry? I'm not, you know what? Screw them. Actually, let's help him because he's sick. Let's chat with her. This is going so quickly, kind of. But I don't see how I can get rescued. I have 
Literally, I have the items to survive this shelter, but... How's the water up? Uh, this helped. Coughing, coughing. Isn't thirsty. Hungry. Uh, th hungry, thirsty, and... Yeah, okay. Okay, so the last water droplet is going to Timmy. There are so there are only so many things you can do in the tiny bunker. Uh, how about so we thought of playing the games? Okay, that's nice. There's a checkers board, but the half the pieces is missing. Day 18. What does that door mean? She's back and sick. <laughs> what the map was broken, I think. Is this easy mode? She just restocked us with everything. We thought playing the game would be good. The sun was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Uh, a local, so Mary Jane is back. A local, local supermarket might have seemed like a great place for a safe haven, but unfortunately a bandit group had the same idea and turned it into their home, new home instead. These thugs are heavily armed and able to terrorize the entire area. So we stole some stuff. Four cans, six bottles of water, one new map. Let's go. Holy shit. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted. Be careful. Coughing, coughing. Still no meds. Wait a minute. The skins we're gonna get. It was for the med pack. It was for the book and something else. I think the briefcase, maybe. I'm not sure. Is this the reason what? No, we lost the briefcase. Is that the reason why we won't have these items? So Timmy just needs to survive. Okay. Dolores. Hungry. You know what? I'm not even gonna like read it. Hungry, thirsty for all. Uh, shall we send someone out again? I don't think so. Yes, no, yes, no. It's high time we stop working. Wondering about what's going on and start asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers on how to turn on the radio station about the brave new world. Turn it on. Turn it on. J19. He's probably going to die soon. He hasn't recovered. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency uh, announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout ha Fallout. Outside has mostly gone, it should be much safer to travel on the new surface. Ted keeps coughing, Mary Jane's diet. Um, you know what, hungry. I need these people actually to be able to go outside. Mm, doesn't say that she's thirsty, just hungry. And hey, the Lord has rested and everyone's happy, so hungry. Who should we send out next? Should we send someone? What are they gonna pick up? You know what? We might just go through a lot of food. Our favorite radio station bro stopped broadcasting when we tried to other frequencies. We found nothing but static. Are all of these stations uh, gone? Maybe we should uh, tinker with the radio to increase its range. Yep! You might just hear the Nazis. Okay, so this is going swell. He looks fine. He is fine. We have everything to escape with. So how long is this going to go? What? We fucking lost the radio. Um, hasn't recovered. No longer hungry. No energy. No news is good news. Nothing over to me. I'm so confused. What? Let's give her some water and him some water. Wow. Who's gonna go out? He's gonna die. Let's send out the Loras. I'm not sure if I should should send them out with nothing. Three weeks have passed. The Loras is probably not gonna come back, and these two are probably just gonna like perish. Um, I should be. Should uh, something should be done about dead sickness? Yes, I know, and she's also sick. Um, little Timmy, Angel Timmy is thirsty. Who ate the soup? When conducting the daily supply count, we uh, we've noticed that a soup can was missing. We're absolutely sure it was there just yesterday. That can only mean one thing: we have a soup thief among us. Now we just need to f figure out who the culprit is. No one. I would have blamed the Loras actually. That's that is so scary in my ears because it feels like it's right there. Like 
where my door is. Holy shit. She's recovered! He's gonna die soon. Shame. Whatever happened to the precious soup, we'll let it go. One one can isn't worth the drama and arguments that we that would ensue, and we really don't have any evidence to figure out who did it. Sick. No longer thirsty. Yeah, yeah. The kids are all well and done. A young lady all dressed in white has visited us today requesting our aid. If a lady is dressed in white, especially a gown, right? That shit is some horror movie shit. I would not open the door. I, I really want a daughter one day and I freaking fear if my daughter stands next to my bedside with a white gown on with black hair and then you can't see her eyes. That is some the ring, the grudge shit. I might just uh, drop kick her. Anyway, the challenge, the bandit, uh, biggest bandit leader to us is white, what? Wasting no time, she laid out a plan of, uh, of what she said is a bandit camp where she claims her twin brother is being held. Seems like the young man was wit witless enough to challenge the biggest bandit leader to sort of it, and now his sister is very worried. She says we definitely won't regret if we decide to help her. Come on, Regina, you're a strong, independent woman. Let's go. This guy's just gonna die. Don't tell me how gun broke. Don't tell me how gun broke. Okay. Hey, she's still here. She didn't uh, get shot. The woman quickly called a group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother hasn't wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to a friend, trying to escape in his uh, deal with a bandit leader. He lost a hand. But, but the group quickly tended to his injuries and he'll be just fine. The siblings thanked, thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us Again, what, to help you? Give us something in return, hello? Uh, so he's just thirsty. Thirsty. Cool. I have enough water, so thirsty, thirsty. Can you just heal? Traitor alert! Timmy salvaged comic books. Oh, we're not gonna kick him. Blasphemous. Timmy to the wasteland. Nope. No! We're saving Timmy. Why is this game after Timmy now? We're saving Timmy. Day 24. Dolores is not back. She's probably not coming back. Every time I send her, like, she just gets taken. We allowed me to stay. Um, hungry. Th Timmy is thirsty. Little Timmy is thirsty. Do we have food for him? We do. We have a bunch of food. We took some time examining our map and found it uh, had some abnormal symbols scribbled on a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area. Go investigate. We might get a cat. We might get a monkey that gets us the food. Let's see. Nothing. Food. You see what I mean? Food. We got food. The map direction weren't too hard to follow. We got two cans of tre uh, cans. That's treasure. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness. Nothing. He's very hungry, actually. So both of the kids are hungry. I've got enough food to feed you guys. And remember that Mary Jane just Jane went out to scavenge supplies where, uh, when she got back. She had a wound on her fire, forearm. Nothing serious. She claimed, but it looked like something. Okay, so we fear it may be infected. We have to clean it up. We're gonna use the axe to clean it up, but then we only have the gun to defend ourselves with. Did I? Shoot? I don't. I thought. I th but I think I saw the, the radio was repaired, but it wasn't. So anyway, she's better. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we uh, brandished the axe. She tried to limp it out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow. Okay, something should be done about Ted's sickness. So he's just thirsty. Timmy is hungry. Thirsty. So everyone wants water, except Timmy, he's just hungry. Come on, Dolores, make it back. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. No, you know what? I'm not going to use the map. I'm not going to use anything to stuff that with. This game is bullshit. She's back and she's sick. She bought a radio! She might have just saved us, depending if the government is coming. We were glad to see the rose come back. We brought some storage looking, sto strange looking people back to our doorstep. They claimed to be wizards. 
and were willing to trade us useful supplies in exchange for a few weird trinkets. After we were hearing them out, we decided to look around our shelter for items they wanted. They really wanted to sell us their radio. They claimed it was evil and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord. We gave them a bottle cap. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. Dolores, what did you bring? Timmy is no longer hungry and he's thirsty. Not thirsty, probably hungry, thirsty, sickness, fatigue, tired, uh, just hungry. So hungry, thirsty. Hungry, thirsty, okay. Hungry. Thirsty. Who are we sitting up next? Ted is just gonna die, so might as well send him out. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in, to uh, in torn up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim who used to roam the streets of our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wasteland and it looks li like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? No. Maybe I should have said yes, because it's usually just a good thing. I don't know what you buy it with, and I don't want to give my water away. Nothing happening, really. We were ready to consider it, but the old man was really unprofessional. He didn't have the necessary documentation with him. Anyway, sick, hungry, hungry. So hungry, thirsty, hungry. Timmy is fine, so... The parents are freaking s taking everything. All right, Mary Jane, you were fortunate to go. You were fortunate to make it. Ted is probably dead. Ted is hanging in there. Must be a cold. Okay, Timmy is fatigued. Is good, well, at least for a few minutes ago. Whatever, isn't hungry, uh, hungry again, and that's all. So she's just, she's just hungry, I can feed her. Hear that noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. Let's check it out, please don't break the flashlight. What? The flashlight isn't broken. We didn't gain anything by the looks of it. We, if we didn't have a flashlight, we'd probably be a meal for, for something that was, was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes looked very reptilian. Anyway, something should be done about Ted's sickness. Whatever. He's been sick for, what, three weeks? He's gonna die. At least this is kind of like real life. Uh, Dolores has not improved. And Timmy is thirsty. And hungry. Thirsty hungry. MVP. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping. Um, we won't be able to cop cope with any other challenges that await us. So that's probably the end of Ted. Radio signal. Ted is dead. It's almost like I'm wishing him for, for I'm wishing for him to be dead, but he he just doesn't die. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get out at least an hour of sleep or no luck. We're even more tired. Okay, something. Thirsty and tired. Dolores tired. Uh, was cured from her illness. Geez, she didn't even need anything. Man up, dude. He is thirsty. Thirsty. Let's just feed her. What does Ted want? Is he thirsty? Okay, he's thirsty. The military is transmitting again. They said the first step is to locate any remaining survivors. A plane will be doing sweep over our neighborhood this evening and we are supposed to be out in the open, signaling to it with a flashlight. Flashlight is ticked, but they're not coming now. I've been through this. Come on, man. There's some knocking. Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Ted keeps coughing. Still tired. Isn't thirsty. Is hungry. Dolores needs time to rest. No longer thirsty. No news is good news. Everyone is fine. Ted is just being a nuisance. Let's just feed him. Do we have enough food? We have enough food. 
When we hear a knock on the door and decide to open our hearts or ha open, our heart rate always goes up a bit. Fortunately, this time it wasn't the bloodthirsty raiders, but the brother and sister that, were, uh, that we befriended some time ago. They're quite ambitious. Together with their group, they're trying to construct a, a few houses and make a small camp. If we have an axe, we could help them out. We don't have an axe. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to ransack us after we helped you? Stop knocking, please. We wish we had an axe. It's wood chopping qualities are quite useful. Anyway, something has raced. Ted has raced it. Some water for me. We were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that. When we heard someone knocking on the door, it seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. How about that? Let's trade the ammo, why not? What do we get in return? Food, water, please water, please water. Did he steal from us? Oh, he gave us a can of soup, okay. Um, coughing. Thirsty, thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Not thirsty. Can you people stop? Drinking all, you know what, S uh, screw you. The more we know about what's going on on the outside of the Bitterfast, let's gather around the radio and see if we can turn, tune into the station. I don't think I've had a game where the military actually like saves me. She's back. Uh, what did we use up? Water, so she got water and a harmonica. Really Mary Jane and you're sick. We were able to tune in and get a get rid of just enough static to listen to a very energetic and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a, a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expedition. Nothing made us happier than the side of Mary Jane. Okay, uh, we set off an expedition nearby zoo. So the zoo thing, we got two bottles of water, which we needed. Uh, we got more ammo, a harmonica. Cool. Ted is still sick, isn't thirsty. Dolores, she just can't sleep. Well, I'll drink a sleeping tablet. Uh, water. He's hungry! And then illness, fatigue, tired, food. Food, food, thirsty. Food, food, thirsty. They just sent that out because, my gosh. There are not. There is nothing more surprising than a knock on a door. A uh, uh, knock on a fallout shelter door. Who would it could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That just sounds like a good idea. Whatever. What is the worst that can happen? <laughs> sounds like they want to take sick people. Ooh, we got so much food. Turned out it was a nice, mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans. This will help us survive the next couple of days. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. Um, it seems it gave us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Coughing, coughing. He's gonna die soon. But I mean, at this point, just die already. No sympathy. <laughs> uh, Mary Jane, quite hungry. Tired. Hungry, thirsty. Okay, so he's thirsty. Thirsty, hungry, thirsty. Get it together, people. Let's send him out to die. I've had enough of his green face. <sighs> hungry. Uh, my condition is anything better today? No longer hungry. So Mary J MJ is fine. So she's hungry and Timmy is. She's just hungry. Easiest round. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like like someone or something was watching us. We couldn't could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach it who's boss around here. Let's do it. Let's shoot the blasted thing! That's not the sound of the gun we have, but anyway. Oh, the gun isn't broken. That's good. 
I don't see anything happening. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Uh, tired, no longer hungry, thirsty. Dolores is D is thirsty. Mm, she's thirsty. Uh, she's just thirsty. Enough of this plain, tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real, true blue American coffee. Should we send? The last time I played with my girlfriend Claudia and we decided it was like day one and she was she was in a mood for a coffee. We decided not to send her out for a coffee. So you know what? Boom. That's constant knocking. We send her out. She looks muddy, but she doesn't appear anywhere else. Great, we got a whole pot of cold coffee. The taste is weird and we don't have any sugar or milk to give it flavor, but it'll do. If you want milk in this at this time, like with everything that's happening, it's gonna be sour. So, uh, aren't there any dr drugs we could give Mary Jane? Mary Jane has rested, uh, quite hungry. Mary MJ is hungry. Ooh, the kids are hungry. Got enough foodies for you. A strange push, a stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods. Stop by today. He wants to trade these for this. Do we need uh, water? Not really. Nah, we're good. We're good. She. <laughs> Come on, man. How long is this gonna last? Is this something I'm missing? Something I need to do? Refuse to trade. Hopefully we made the uh, right choice. No longer hungry. Thirsty. MJ is thirsty. 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 Maybe I should have taken the water. A band of raiders are at our doorstep. They demand we let them in. We either yield or we fight back this. What will this do though? We used the harmonica, what happened? I think they took our water. They lowered down their weapons and cried a few tears, surprised by the beauty of our music. They will let us live today. Okay. Um, no longer thirsty, she's thirsty, and everyone's fine. So the Lord's is thirsty. It, like, I haven't even done the 60 second round. What is this? The siblings are back just like they promised and they're asking for our help. We don't have an axe. It's for unfortunate, but we don't have any tools. Dolores, not eaten. At this point, I'm literally just like playing through the game, giving food and water. Still sick. Tim is okay. Dolores is hungry. We keep dreaming about the day our American soldiers uh, show up to rescue us from the mess. Alas, this is not happening anytime soon. Unless not according to the military broadcast we just heard on the radio. We are we are to walk the nearest hill and emit some sounds. This is new. We shall help the army better pinpoint our power position. Now that is new. We climbed a small hill at the end of the hour street and performed a stunning rendition of the Star Spangled Banner on our trusty harmonica. Let's hope the demonstration of patriotism, patriotism will steer the soldiers away. Our way. So far the audience we got were a couple of very surprised mutant cockroaches. We ran away as soon as we started playing. Uh, MJ is thirsty. Drink and eat. Thirsty? Drink and eat. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the lo uh, last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. We need to investigate or we might suffocate. SUFFOCATE! <laughs> Nothing happened. I'm not gonna waste the tools. Uh, yeah, he's not coming back. Shit. Sick. Quite MJ is hungry. 
Uh, Lords of Thirsty and Timmy is fine. MJ, thirsty. Right? MJ is quite hungry. Nope, wrong one. We're gonna send someone out now, again. Dolores. We are pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday two weeks ago, but it turns out it's today. Not giving her anything. Well, I am being a bit ruthless, but like, I kind of feel like, I don't know if I'm playing this wrong, but this game does not seem to end. Too old for birthdays. Mary Jane and Kuda, uh, condition is, isn't anything better. Okay. No longer hungry. She, the lower D is hungry. Okay, so she's just hungry. We have a lot of food. And we're sending out... Hold up, who's sick? Well, Ted was sick, so he then came back. So let's send out the Loras again. Because the Loras can go out, get shit, even if Mary Jane passes away, like, even if she dies. And that's very terrible to say, but it is what it is. Uh, aren't there any drugs and apple juice? So Timmy is thirsty. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from retirement. Home. It shouldn't be uh, hard to borrow some supplies. Let's borrow it. Let's see if we get some water <coughs> and other stuff. <coughs> hopefully, hopefully we, we do not require a lot of people and we have nothing. Oh, we got a briefcase. Um... Mary Jane's condition isn't any better and keeps fainting. So she's thirsty. Woo, Timmy! A band of raiders at our doorstep did a man, we let them in. The harmonica actually comes in, eh? Okay, our harmonica is gone. Well, it came in handy, it uh, uh, defeated like raiders. Ah, uh, beautiful, sorrowful music that would soften their hearts resulted in a uh, cacophony of hellish noises instead. We... Well, if we don't cure Mary Jane... Uh, she's hungry and Timmy should eat. Okay, thank God. Everyone eat! We had the most curious visitor today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse. We don't have a map. Sorry, guys! <coughs> Day 49. I thought this would be a quick a quick challenge, but our objective is basically to save Timmy, so what the hell? We could then contain all of them our guests took off. Okay. Sick no longer hungry water for Timmy. Lost bit of water? This might not go well. Alert! There's a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they are dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. Okay, so we just got defeated by raiders, or not? It's the end. The gunfight was intense, but our position gave us the advantage we needed to drive the thugs away. One of them uh, even lost an axe while retreating. We'll make it. We'll make sure it's used for all the right reasons, specifically not pla not robbing us. Oh damn! We spoke too soon. We think the gun is broke. Okay. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. Uh, talking. One of them mentioned they'd captured a woman. Mary Jane's condition isn't any better today. Uh, everyone has to drink sometimes. Timmy is no longer thirsty. We didn't make it. What? These are our final words, and our advice to anyone who reads this is obscured writing. What? I made it! He's there! What do you mean we didn't make it? We had food and everything! Hello? I achieved everything. Use the harmonica to help the military pinpoint your, your position. Signal your position with the flashlight. Assist uh, other survivors with the rescue. Make contact. Uh, wait further. Keep them alive until the rescue comes. Get rescued by the military. Or ally with other wastelanders. We did it! Okay. The parents didn't make it, but we did it. Are you kidding? Okay, we did it. <laughs> what? But why didn't I do it? Why didn't we make it? Timmy was alive. I'm, I'm so confused. What? 
Timmy was alive. He wasn't sick. He wasn't injured. Bandits game, we, we defended. Well, that was a bit wasteful. Um, but I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. What? Timmy was still alive. Let me know what challenges I need to do to be able to work on this tank because I really want to get there. Comment down below if you're enjoying these games. This is why I'm playing this because people have been requesting it. Have a nice long weekend uh, and happy Easter. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll say out. <laughs>